everyone. My name is Leah. I'm a librarian at the San Ramon Library, and I'm here to discuss another great book for the latest episode in our Book Talk It Up series. This is a series where we talk about books that you can check out from our libraries or at ccc.overdrive.com or on the Libby app. The book I'm going to talk about today is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. What would you do if you knew which day you would die but didn't know where or how? This book takes place in an alternate reality in which a service called Death Cask can predict which day people will die and calls them to let them know. These people, called Deckers, have the rest of their day to spend having adventures, making memories, or otherwise having the last day on Earth that they want. One option they have is to use an app called Last Friend, which lets you pair up with another person, often another Decker, and hopefully become friends with them. The two main characters in this book, Mateo and Rufus, are Deckers who pair up as last friends. They couldn't be more different in terms of life experiences, personalities, friends, and other things. But over the course of their last day together, they find they have more in common than they realized. One thing I really enjoyed about this book was that the characters aren't perfect. Mateo fears almost everything, including going outside. We first meet Rufus when he's beating up his ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend. The two of them don't have perfect interactions with either each other or with the other people they encounter. Yet what this book illustrates so beautifully is that we are all intertwined with the people we meet and encounter, however briefly, and that we should make the most of each moment, whether it's our last day or not. It also raises the question of whether it would be better or worse to know we're going to die. The book seems to say it would be better to be able to prepare and say your goodbyes, but you'll have to read the book yourself to find out whether or not you agree. I hope you enjoy this book as much as I did. Please join us again next time for another staff pick.